What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Blue Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Well, today the Cowboys are at OTAs, and today we got some bad news because, you know, this is OTAs. This is, you know, shirts and t-shirts and helmet and things practice. It's not supposed to be com contact. But things do happen. Players do get lost. I remember Sean Lee, uh, Zach Martin's rookie year. Zach Martin's pulling around in a drill, and that's all Sean Lee's knee went. And the Cowboys, where they're thin, is linebacker and backups on the offensive line for Tyron Smith. And unfortunately, the Cowboys suffered their first injury of the season, which is definitely significant. This is a significant one. Um, oh, God. Linebacker Devontae Bond, who spent last year on the practice squad, suffered a serious knee injury today and will have surgery and will be out for the season. Now, if we go through our depth chart from ESPN and look at our linebacking situation, we're not in good position because right now he was scheduled to be the starting weak side linebacker. Yeah. Luke Gifford, of course, is the backup who, great special team standout guy, but doesn't have much experience as far as starting linebacker. And then we have Aaron uh, Hansford as the third string. Of course, middle linebacker, we have Leighton Van Der Esch, Devin Harper, and Damone Cart. Damone Cart, who could be a beast, but just had his back fused, which gives you a, a, a big worry there. You got Micah Parsons, you got Jarrell Cox, and then Stoney Jackson. Now, I'm sure they're going to be rotating around on this, this defensive front here, you know, that maybe this ends up being Micah Parsons ends up playing middle linebacker or so forth, maybe Van Der Esch plays weak side. They're going to have to juggle with the experience they have. But the bottom line is this. The Cowboys don't have much depth at linebacker. And losing Devontae Bond, who – practice squad guy was penciled in to be the starter is big news and hurts. This may put pressure more on the Cowboys to get Anthony Barr signed. Now the problem with Anthony Barr is Anthony Barr is looking for about a $10 million deal for one year. And the Cowboys, well, we got cap boy and cap boy. He don't like to pay nobody. And so looking at 10 million, 10, 10 million dollars. He wanted to pay DeMarcus Lawrence $10 million for the season for one year. So, if he's only looking to pay DeMarcus Lawrence $10 million, he's not looking to pay Anthony Barr $10 million. So the Cowboys truly have a hole right now at linebacker that is not good. Um, in other news, too, Mike McCarthy talking about Dalton Schultz. Dalton Schultz, he doesn't know if he's going to show up for minicamp or not. Now, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Missing out the OTAs yesterday and today is one thing. Missing out mandatory minicamp is another. Now, if he misses those three practices next week, that's $95,000. Now, that's a lot of money to me. <laughs> three days of work, 95000 Shit. That, 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 that's thirty one, thirty one and a half thousand dollars a day. Thirty-one and a half thousand. That's a lot of money to me. Now, when you talk about ten point nine million dollars for the franchise tag, that's kind of chump change. However, the thing is, is the NFL got the players when they went out there and said, "You know what? You like to pass the duchy from the left. You know, maybe you like to pass it from the right. Maybe you want to pass it from the left, the right, and the middle." Guess what, guys? We're not gonna. Suspends you for smoking weed? You're good, man. We love you. We love you, man. Hey, we talking about practice. Not a game. Not a game now. We talking about practice. You don't like to practice, do you? Well, guess what? We're going to reduce the number of practices for you guys because we love you. We're in this together. You know, you guys like to do a few things with your uniforms. Okay, we're, we're going to be a little bit easier on some of you guys. Not CeeDee Lamb. CeeDee Lamb, uh-uh. You, you got to tuck your shirt in. Look, CD, you know the rules are different for Cowboy players. But we're going to be a little easier, a little kinder and gentler with you guys because we love you. We love you. But um, 
we won a 17th game. Yeah, no biggie, just an extra game. But you know what? We're going to reduce the preseason because, you know, you don't like preseason games because that's kind of like practice. Oh, and one other thing. If you decide to hold out, you're going to pay us. And it's not refundable. No, you lose that money. And if you hold out, you're not getting that year as a cure. We're going to hold your rights for another year. But we love you. We're in this shit together. <clears throat> so no word on what's going to happen on that. The Cowboys and Dalton Schultz have until the 15th of July to get a long-term deal done. Or else they have to wait till next year. Or he becomes a free agent. Whichever comes first. But the Cowboys definitely now have a problem at linebacker. So that's where we are. And I've got some work to do. I got my man Michael Anthony Fitness Reaction Gig Economy looking at me right now. And I'm wondering, is everything okay? He's nodding his head, so I think that's yes. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Well, I um, technically, I, I, I'm talking to the RV, the 2 o'clock is the pickup time. So by the time we pick it up, get back here, load up, that means we're not hitting the road till probably about 4. Yeah, well, I want. I was hoping we could get it earlier because I, I want. I want to get. I would love because here's the thing. I would love to get through the mountains of Tennessee in Virginia. Uh, what is? Yeah. So we going. Well, we also got a lot of packages we got to get out too. What I may do is I may box them up and put the, the names on all of them. So that way you can come back, you can just stick the label on and we can go. Anyway, that's what we got to do. We got, uh, I got to get a deal with David Wiley. He's going to do some potato salad and beans and wings and all that kind of stuff. I, I'm, I'm thinking that maybe I might cook wings, especially we're leaving at 2 o'clock, cook wings like oh, oh, Sunday, uh, Saturday if morning. You're about beans, make sure you get air fresheners. More air fresheners, <laughs> more air fresheners, or for some breeze. It's gonna be hot in Texas, so make no, no, sure we get plenty of breeze. No, 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 no. Okay, no beans on the road. Okay, no, no, no. beans on the road. This, this is RV rules. No, no, no. That's why you get the air fresheners or something like that. Oh lord. Get, get sprayed up so it don't smell. This is gonna be a long trip to Texas. <laughs> I'm Mark Holmes. I hope you guys are having a good Thirsty Thursday, and um, we'll be back later with more news on this. I've got to do a live stream later on tonight so we can give away some more of our pieces, and I hope you're having a good one. Peace.